Hey again, it's me again, and I'm tired again, and I know that I've said that in every video, um, but I'm actually very tired. There's only so many ways I can say I'm tired in. Actually, there's only one way I can say I'm tired in, because I'm not that good at explaining stuff in, in, uh, in, uh, in, in, in ways. I'm not that good with words, and that's, uh, and that's verisimilitude. <laughs> Which is funny because I'm not, not quite sure what that means. Um, I'm very tired and uh, I'm just gonna make a, 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 a... I've already made a vlog about it and I made a Asperger's video about it. But in case you... Ha I don't remember if I've t no mentioned it, but uh, this previous week and the week before was Vasaloppet in Swedish. Sweden. And I wanted to talk about it for a bit and just explain what it is and why it makes me tired. <laughs> and um, uh, I'm gonna start talking now. So Valsaloppet is uh, the biggest ski race in the world and nobody really outside of Sweden seemed to know about it except for like Germans because they're, uh, we have tourists here, we have a lot of German tourists, I don't know. And uh, it's the it's the ski race started because some Swedish king, uh, Kung Gusta, I guess, Gustav Vasa was it? I guess <laughs> I should know this. Uh, he he was he needed to ski, and he went from a place, and then he skied to Mura, which is where I work, and I honestly don't know much else about it, and I should know more, and you know, learn it in school and all that, but I don't care. It's um, it's a race where people just put on long, long skis, long, long distance skis, whatever it's called, and they just travel for friggin' miles, it like takes them all day to, to go there. And, uh, I work as a chef in the city where the goal is, and uh, since uh, there's a lot of tourism, I work in, a, you know, in a... I can't find my words today, it's ridiculous. Um, even though I used the ver word verisimilitude before, it's... I guess it evens out or something. Uh, where was I? Um, right, I work in a buffet place and restaurant, lunch buffet. So we have a lot of guests and I had to work nights uh, because we have a lot of uh, a la carte this week or last week. And uh, normally I only work two days, have one day free, then I work two days and so on. Because I've had problems getting up in mornings in case you didn't know. I have insomnia and stuff. And uh, I've not I've not worked more than two days in a row for the longest time. Last week I worked five days in a row, uh, night time, starting at three and ending at eleven at night. And uh, not at night. Well, that would be in the morning. Well, no, eleven wouldn't be. It would be whatever. It's just I don't I'm not good at a.m. and p.m. It was like starting at fifteen hundred and going to twenty three hundred whatever. And uh, I worked for five days and I had two days free and then I worked for five more days, and it was very very tiring. We had like hundreds of guests, and uh, I wanted to just mention two things basically. First of all. I was more tired than the other people there because I have Asperger's. And that sounds kind of like I'm blaming it on Asperger's. But it's true because of the mental aspect. Uh, there was also new people. There was a lot of hubbub and audio interference and uh, input. And it was just a lot of stuff to take in. I wouldn't have been able to do it if it weren't for the fact that I've worked there for so long that I've actually gotten used to it. Uh, but it still made me very, very tired. And if you know me, and if you talk to me regularly, which you don't, 
But if you do, then you know that I've been very grumpy lately. I've been very tired, I've been very easily agitated, and I knew I was tired, but I didn't know what I needed to get rid of it. And uh, the other night I figured it out. I need to recharge my batteries. How do Aspies recharge batteries? They spend the time alone. And I um, kind of told people that I needed some time alone, and I feel a lot better already. Um, some people <laughs> didn't like that, because they, f they they think I'm trying to get rid of them. Well, I am, technically, but you know, just for a brief period of time. But uh, it's not that I don't like talking to those people, it's just that I need to recharge my own batteries, and I do that myself. I... Uh, you know the drill, I was gonna explain the whole thing, but you've watched my videos, because you're such a big fan, and you love everything I do, so you don't need to know uh, that Aspies recharge by being alone. And uh, I keep looking up here, because it's like I have my... Um, my handy dandy 3D gra glasses here that I actually uh, bought. Ooh, look at that. Why did I put these on? Now I look like a complete idiot. Well, uh, what was I saying? Right, uh, so I spent some time alone, just a day or two, and it actually recharged my batteries some th enough to make a video. Uh, which is why I'm making a video right now, because I haven't in a while, and I haven't actually explained why I haven't, so I, th that's two for two here. And um, also, there was th two things I wanted to say. The first thing was that... Um, no, I already said them. The first thing was that uh, I get tired because of the the people there. And the second thing is that to get, to get rid of that, I had to be alone. And I didn't actually think about that until... Uh, just, you know, a few days after when I just realized that I'm very grumpy and tired. And uh, I needed to recharge because I wasn't gonna recharge just by being myself. I had to actually take some time apart from people to get energy back. Otherwise, I would just keep being grumpy. And uh, as, as not, I keep saying, and, uh, that's not good. I need to Kill my darlings, as they say. I almost said kill my babies, but that sounds horrible. Um, yeah. I think I've uh, had these on long enough to get a, uh, a thumbnail out of it. So I can take them off. Ah, that's horrible. They are bent inwards, so when I take them off, it's like I'm scratching my eyes open. What the fuck? Not good design here. Um... Uh, but, but I said um again. Uh, I have to kill that darling. Which is a brilliant expression. My uh, Swedish teacher taught me that. It's not like that person was the person who invented the phrase. But she, she said that once. And because I'm an Aspie, I take things so literally that I, I heard it and I just went, Isn't that kind of mean to kill your darlings? Like, what does that even mean? Like... Because you like them, you have to let them go. Uh, but what that expression just means is that um, in writing, especially, you s use certain phrases and certain words a lot, and uh, you need to stop using them in order to grow as an artist. So you need to kill the darlings that you have. And apparently saying, uh, is one of my darlings. The more you know. Hmm, so, so anyway, uh, I'm trying out this mic here, I've never sat down with it, I noticed that it sounds kind of, uh, e not echoey, but like dull, because I have this, um, set up like, like a box kind of area, where my computer is, and I think by sitting here, it picks up stuff from all, all of that, so it sounds more like, uh, there's a word for that, like when it gets too much bass, because this thing works as a base box, like a subwoofer. So I'm not sure if the audio sounds good with this, but um, I said it again. I um, 
And I said it again. Come on now. But that's because I was just busy picking up these. These are my new headsets. And I look ridiculous wearing them. So I, I kind of prefer not to wear them when I record. Although I have a new share. And I look ridiculous sitting here too because my ears are like pointing out now. They aren't actually uh, that much pointing out. It's just that you normally don't see me with back black background with no headset on. This is one of the few times you see me sitting down without a headset on. Which is completely retardedly irrelevant. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, tired. Need time alone. Uh, I'm picking up. We'll try to make more videos. And uh, that's basically it. In case you're wondering, the, the Vasalopet thing went really smoothly. The first week is the female Vasalopet. I'm not sure how to bend that when you're speaking English. Um, the second week was the real Vasalopet, which anyone can join. But there's more people during the female Vasalopet, which is weird. So the first week was the hardest one. Then after that it kind of... You, you you got used to it and it was easier. All oh, right, one more thing I wanted to mention is that because Aspies like doing, I won't say like doing monotonous things, but that's not quite true. But we like doing the same things over and over, like sitting and uh, putting together fan parts, like I did once. Uh, not not a yard, but like a place where I just put together stuff. Just like on a, if you imagine Donald Duck like pulling a lever every day to to a machine that screws on the lid to to uh, toothpaste tubes. That was really fun. It's relaxing for my brain, and I'm using my hands. I really like doing stuff like origami and stuff where you just use your hands, and your brain can shut off or think if it wants to. And because it was a la carte. Uh, I had to put up dishes and put up sauce and food and, you know, like, send them away and, and do the whole thing over again all day long. And I really liked it, and because it was such boring jobs, it was a lot easier for me, mentally. It was really easy for me to just breathe through it. The hard part was all the people around, all the new interns, all the... Uh, waitresses, all the people asking me questions, all the screaming and stuff like that. However, like I said in a previous video, it's very good practice uh, for when you're not good with people. I, I've, I actually took over the kitchen for a while and actually uh, told people what you need to do this, you know, you have to write your name on this note so I know who gave me the order so I can send it out and you know you come here and pick this up and you make more of this and so on and I didn't really think I would be able to do stuff like that when uh, I started being a, training for a chef I thought I would be too shy and scared but the more I work the more bossy I get which is a good thing as a chef and that's 15 minutes ish so um I'm gonna have my, my, my timer here is like a, a meat meat thermostat slash timer. Which is funny because sometimes when I look down on it it's actually telling me that it's uh, 50 degrees. It's like how much time do I have? Oh 50 degrees left. Um, but, um, uh, but I keep saying ah but I'm tired and you have to excuse me and I'll make more videos, I'll just um, get more energy into my head so I don't have to say uh all the time to, to uphold a conversation. I just realized that I don't have an ending to this video and I usually just go, uh, you know, bye. But that just feels so abrupt, so I guess, like, I should end with some kind of moral or, or teaching like uh, everybody actually wants money sex sells 
men statistically are stronger than women, there probably is no God, and children are actually kind of annoying. Bye!